all right welcome back so in the last episode what we did was we got our character ready and we got our character in here moving around and walking and everything with our animation blueprints now this episode what i want to do is you see how she has on a dress i want to show y'all how to make clothes move inside of unreal engine because it will be way cooler it will make the game look cooler if her clothes were moving like if that dress was swaying instead of just like moving with her mesh so let's fix that and let's make that happen this episode. But before we do that, I want to do something for this character. Um, because we're in such a small area, I want to change her speed. So, just in case you wanted to change the speed of your character, this is how you do it. Click on your BP character and go to character movement. And find the max walk speed. I want mine to be 400 instead of 600. I know we said it at 600 last time, but I'm going to change it to 400. But we're not done. We have to change it also. Whoops. We have to also change it in our um, blueprint. So our animation blueprint. So go to Scarlet folder and check her animation blueprint. Oh, it's actually the blend space. So go in the blend space. I'm sorry. So in the blend space, what we did is we set the horizontal axis, which was the vertical. The vertical was the horizontal was the direction and the vertical was the speed good grief my red bull hasn't kicked in yet change that six to a four and then we should be goody so at the top speed she's sprinting um now you can do this but i got a lot of errors because that means i have to go back and correct like there's a whole row missing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave mine at 600 so that way she'll never ever get to the sprint unless we hold the sprint button which now we have to go back into our sprint and make sure that our sprint is sprinting correctly let's go back into your BP character this time and let's check our sprint so our sprint is going up to a thousand and going back to 500 let's make it go back to 400 right there we go everything should be perfect with that now so she'll never get to her running unless you sprint. She's always going to be walking. So that's cool. Doop, doop. All right. Now let's make our dress move. All right. If your character has clothes that can move, um, this is how we're going to make it move. So we're going to find our character in the character folder. And then click on the purple one, which is her skeletal mesh. Or your character might not be a her. <clears throat> Anyways. There's different parts of her mesh that I can select. You see, I can select her dress, I can select her jacket, I can select her shoes. Now, this is all dependent on how you built your character. Most character creators are gonna separate it like this for you. I use character creator four, and so my clothes are separate from my body. So I'm gonna take this dress here, and I'm gonna go to this panel on the left-hand side that says clothing. If you don't have a clothing panel, go to your window, and then check the clothing right first thing we're going to do is right click on the dress and we're going to say create clothing data from section selection and then you can say yeah you want to name it whatever I'm gonna name it her clothes and create you should see it pop up over here and that's exactly what we want next thing you want to do is right click on the dress again and then press apply clothing data boom everything should work like that it should should look like this cool now we're almost done here the last thing we have to do is activate cloth paint right here activate cloth paint so now you'll notice I have this big old circle and her dress is all pink anything that's pink is not gonna move anything that you color is gonna move so let's change the size of this big thing right here uh, paint value the radius here we go I'll change my radius down to like 32 or something like even smaller like shoot 10 <laughs> 20 all right cool and all I want to move is like the bottom part of her dress so I'm just gonna color all of that right there the bottom part just make sure that it's all moving I'm gonna turn her around scroll around my character and make sure that I get every part of that dress at the bottom part right there And then you go to the back side and also do the back side. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Uh, now that looks like it's painted up pretty good. So remember, everything that's pink is not going to move. Everything that is white is going to move. So we've got her dress moving pretty good. Last thing you need to do is deactivate cloth paint. Now watch what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I knew this was going to happen. So this is only happening because the cloth is obeying her physics constraint. So press save. <clears throat> and we need to open up her physics um, unit. That's the orange one. So watch this. It's this one right here, the physics. Open that up. And now we see exactly what's going on here. So the dress is paying attention to the physics. So what we're going to do is we're just going to change the size of some of these bubbles. It shouldn't really change too much in the character um, from what I noticed. But what it will do is it will make the dress fit right. Let's see like these bubbles here. See all I'm doing is just make it smaller. Um, you don't want it to clip with her skin but you also don't want it to look really weird. So make sure your bubbles are you know place so that they don't clip with the skin and also so that it doesn't make the dress look oblong and weird there we go that looks about right for me I'm just gonna press save <clears throat> once we come over back here and we press save again this will not reflect the changes until we open it up again so let's close it and open up our skeletal mesh just double check she's got a little bit of a fupa going on there let's fix that <laughs> in the uh, physics constraint which is over here cool um let me fix the fupa let's get rid of that there let's make it go in like that i'm not gonna spend 50 minutes to get mine perfect but i am going to show you that it works so let's double check it one more time you know what I'm saying? That's okay. It's not perfect, but by the next episode, I will get it perfect off camera. I'm going to spend like a, you know, a little bit of time with my physics asset, but let's make sure it works, though. So she's walking around, walking around, and her dress is moving, hey? Isn't that cool? Now, you see that it's getting clipped in with her leg. That's because the physics asset again. I got to go fix some things. And I don't want her dress I don't want her dress to be flying up that high so that you can see underneath it. So I'm gonna fix that as well. Alright, so if we wanted to make any changes, all you have to do is go into your character, highlight their dress or your clothing, make sure it's highlighted over here, activate the cloth paint, and then we can change anything on the cloth paint. And pretty much that's it. That's how you make clothes work inside of Unreal. It's just activating the cloth paint and then set in the physics to um, follow. So I hope you learned something on this video. In the next video, we're going to probably give her a little bit of powers or whatnot, some interesting things to do, maybe some dash ability, and then we'll start working on our second room by adding, like, traps and stuff. So I appreciate y'all for joining me. Um, here's the paint value right here. I'm going to turn this all the way down to zero. And I'm turn some of this shit back to black but um thank y'all for joining me on this one uh if you learned something cool if you really like what the series is talking about you know keep following along and we're going to do some really cool stuff so thank you and um i'll holler at y'all on the next one peace